there was something I was thinking about. And I had a conversation. I won't tell you who I was having this conversation with. But that all Canadian North Star show had a lot of different artists. Okay. I was like, yo, Maestro's killing it. Infinite killing it. Um, I seen Glenn Lewis. Don't you forget it. Don't you forget your way home. I don't, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Drinking hypnotic with Glenn Lewis. I've been through it. Right? Everybody was there. Drizzy Drake giving bear COVID hugs. Remember that? It was a good time. But one group that I seen that was missing from that was Ghetto Concept. You can cue x file sounds right now. Why was Ghetto Concept missing from the OVO North Star show? Or the All-Canadian North Star show? Why? Well, I can't say I have a theory because that would be plagiarism. <laughs> but a little birdie told me it was because of the page thing. Y'all remember Big Page? Balling is my hobby. Balling is my hobby. Balling is, uh, ballin is my hobby. Right? Or, I'm so fly. I'm sky high. Ain't nobody gonna cut my wings. Maybe. Y'all remember that? I was reminded the, the affiliation of the two and the, you know, the issues that once upon a time Big Page had with Drizzy resulted in the three degrees of separation which prevented Ghetto Concept from gracing the stage of the All Canadian North Star show that happened back a few weeks ago. QX fall sounds again. Now, I don't know if this is the right theory. I have, uh, listen, I have no knowledge. I don't speak to, I haven't spoken to anybody behind the scenes over there to see why not. Okay. Maybe it's bad journalism, just assuming or wondering. I'm not even assuming. I'm asking y'all. I'm saying this is what, this is what I heard. I didn't agree or disagree. I just said, interesting. I see your point. <laughs> I'm sky, I'm so fly, I'm sky high, ain't nobody gonna cut my wings. Ghetto Concept wasn't on the show? What part of the game is that, fam? Holy. And this is kind of part, this is part of what, like, what, what Sean was just saying, okay? From Down to Earth Podcast. Because even at the top level, niggas can't get it together. You know what I'm saying? Far less more than the niggas who are still on the come up on the underground and can't get together to do a show together so that they can go make some bread on a tour. 20 years later, if this is true, niggas are still like, nah, fuck them. All their whole crew, fuck them. Because I don't know if y'all ever heard the story of, of what happened with them too. I was supposed to interview Big Page. Still looking to do it. It's not like it's the door's closed for that. Page, if you see this, forward. Balling is my hobby. Balling is my hobby. Balling is, balling is, balling is my hobby. That's my best big page voice right there. And during the time when I was doing my research for his interview, I stumbled upon a video. You know what? How about we do this? Balling is my hobby. Balling is my hobby. 
<clears throat> Hold on, I'm gonna show y'all something. Let me show y'all something quick fast. Let me show you something. Because I just started doing a search so that we can find our research video here. And I found something. And it was just hilarious of the first choices that I found. Watch this. Ballin' is my hobby. Ballin' is my hobby. Ballin' is, ballin' is, ballin' is my hobby. <clears throat> Remember the bass was heavy on that track. It's crazy. Hold on, I'm trying to find the goddamn screen. There we go. So as soon as I put in big page, look at the first thing that pops up. Let's see. I'm so fly, I'm sky high, nobody gon' cut my wings. So, the videos that pop up here, Big Page featuring Drake, you know, the aforementioned or four sang song by Friday Ricky Dread, Bad Rad, the Bad Rendition. <laughs> Y'all remember this? When Drake responded to KG? Say, yo, you're chatting about man's lips or you're a fish. <laughs> um, hold on. Let's find this. Let's, let's. Cause he's had an interview and it was, and I was looking in this, in, in this interview, he revealed something and I was like, whoa, that happened. No wonder you guys don't like each other. Yes. I know I spelled interview wrong. Speaks on Drake's situation. Thoughts. And oh, this is it. Ballin' is my hobby. Ballin' is my hobby. Ballin' is my... <sighs> YouTube, don't come for me, okay? Just relax. People don't know. My niggas know. These people that try to come around me. It's buffering. I be doing my research. Ain't nobody trying to sit with the, with, the, with the old man that I don't already know a bunch of things. I've been watching the interviews that you do. I do everything. Everything. Basically trying to get up. But basically when they realize that I'm not one of those super type nigga, like, I'm going to let you do you. You know, play the role. But nigga. Everything. Nigga's not getting no bread. Nigga's not getting nothing for us. You see, because I ended the door. Sorry, so at the end of the day, I know these niggas is fuck boys, boys. Like, Really, he's, he's just saying because your feelings get hurt, you get emotional, and you write this record. Officer shit, shit is not even like... That's the number. One thing, thing I will address is all these, these diss, diss records, records that are... Doing what, you know, that's your business. But, you know, obviously we're not, we're not dealing with people like that. So I, I know for a fact that, you know, they're down talking and saying, oh, fuck this nigga, don't fuck with him. And just basically trying to get everyone against me because, I mean, everybody would think based off, based off what happened. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not trying to say the nigga was anything, but I'm just saying that was the situation. So they told us to move. A couple of niggas I was with didn't want to move. Here it is, 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 here it is. The Miami story. Dun, dun, dun. So this is a story. He was in Miami. Okay. Him and his peoples. They were in the club. Apparently they knew the club owner. Everything was blessed. You know what I'm saying? They were chilling, popping bottles. And then... This is like, I already knew he pulled the stunt. I like, get this nigga out of here. Why is he here? I'm, I'm over there in, in the VIP. Niggas got the cameras on me asking you know, questions like da 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 da, asking for a page or whatever. I'm not, I'm not trying to say the nigga was anything, but I'm just saying that was the situation. So they told us to move. A couple of niggas I was with didn't want to move. So as we're, we're talking back and forth to security, uh, Wayne and Mac made them a bunch of cash money walks in. And then they're just like, oh, this is our booth, da 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 da. So I'm like, all right, cool.
Dun, dun, dun. No problem. So, so, so from then, from that time, I was like, hold on. If if me and this dude never had a problem, why would he do that? And even he's standing like 10 feet away from me. So I'm saying like, he should be like, yo, it's my dude from Toronto, yo, P. You can't be here because this is Wayne's booth, but yo, just get a new booth. You know what I'm saying? He should at least say something. I felt like. There was no problem. Like, I'm so fly, I'm sky high, ain't nobody gonna cut my wings. If, if, if we did a record together where, uh, I don't know, whatever you want to call the situation, boys or whatever, you should at least be like, yo, it's my man from Toronto, you're relocated, da 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 But it wasn't like that. The dude actually, you know, sent the people like, yo, don't kick this nigga out. But... <laughs> He didn't say that. I knew the promoters, I knew the owners, so just, you know, comp us, they gave me an extra bottle, I was put us in some downstairs, and then from them, I was just like, yo, fuck this nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much what it is. <laughs> Alright, since, since that situation... <laughs> Oh, fuck. I'm sorry, YouTube. I had to let it fuck out, bro. Oh, man. I'm sweating. <laughs> this rehearing that story is the craziest story. Bruh. Bruh. That's what you did to the man. <laughs> this is a my. They were in Miami, bro. Jason King, respect. What up? Yo, they were in Miami. You know how far that is from fucking Toronto, bro? Mans are out there. They're balling like it's his balling is his hobby. He's in the club in Miami. Here come these niggas. They're over there. He's over here. He's still having a good time until... The staff, the, the, he said he knew the owner. Holy. So I say all that to say. The big page affiliation with ghetto concept from what I was told seemed to have made a wedge in what would happen, like let's say, of Ghetto Concept hooking up with Drake in where he is now. And maybe the wedge was already there from back then. You know what I'm saying? Because I never even heard him mention them, them, them niggas. You know what I'm saying? I never heard a big up the Ghetto Concept, nothing like that from the boy. One second, camera's gonna flip. On a momento. I'll be right back. Okay, okay. Okay. Sorry about that, gang. Let me get the shit back up here. Splat out. These things overheat. They're, they're 4K cameras and shit like that. It's just overheat, fam. So just bear with me. There we go. Better. So, yeah. Is Drake out here hating on the man them? Is that what's going on? Did he cut the man's wings? He wasn't he wasn't so fly, so sky high. Right? And is you know, is there any truth to that preventing 
ghetto concept perf- from performing at the All Canadian North Star show. That's just a theory I want to put out there on the table. Okay. Mm. Rico McLovin said, Circle got smaller. Everybody can't go. Holy. That's a bar. I think that's one of his bars, no? (laughs) The Drake bar, still. I feel you, though. 